Okay friends, so how are we all doing? Hopefully we are doing well. It is half 11 currently in the morning on Thursday the 12th of May and I thought I would come in and kick off this reading vlog and yes it is a day early, it is kicking off on Thursday but I just got too excited and it's my birthday on Saturday and oh, I have so many lovely plans and things um, sort of you know that I want to be doing and books that I want to be reading. So I thought, why not kick it off now? I have literally just come off a live show with Paige and Crystal for the Not Safe For Workathon readathon that's happening in June, and they have asked me to be a co-host. So that was really nice. I have never co-hosted a readathon. I have never been involved in anything like this before. So. It's all very exciting, but yes, there is a live show announcement and we are playing some baby shower games and there was prompt reveals and things like that. So they're currently on a reading sprint. I've come off just to go back into into work um, until lunchtime. So yeah, as I say, I wanted to introduce this reading vlog and it is my birthday on Saturday. I cannot believe it. It is my birthday. I don't have loads planned as in like loads to do but I have loads of reading plans and plans with book friends so it's all good so um tomorrow I'm off work and I'm going to go over to my mum's and see my family and we're going to do gifts and cake and all those good things a cup of tea and a bit of cake is always a welcome refreshment so that will be good and it'll be good to see Lucy and my family and then I'm coming home we're going to get a takeout with Aaron and we're going to watch a film and then on Saturday I am going to go out for the day with my little niece um, Lucy and my brother and sister-in-law and we're going to spend the day with her and then I'm going to come back and me and Arne are going to go and see Doctor Strange, the new movie, on Saturday evening and then Sunday there's nothing, not a lot real, really planned so you know because obviously my birthday will be over but I wanted to do a weekend, excuse me, reading vlog. I haven't vlogged all this week so there's no weekly reading vlog but I wanted to document the occasion somehow so what I'll do is, is I have to go back to work now as I say I wanted to introduce this um, reading vlog and um, explain to you what I'm doing but at lunchtime I will give you a sort of peek into what I'm going to be reading although to be fair I don't know why I'm keeping it as a surprise until lunchtime because it's in the title and the thumbnail so it is an author spotlight and it is Emily Henry so just to show you Amazon called while I was on the live show and I got my pre-order for book lovers ah so happy I have been waiting for this this is such an anticipated read not my normal genre of choice obviously because it's a romance but in this reading vlog I'm going to be reading Beach Read, You and Me on Vacation and Book Lovers so hopefully I can get through three, three, three books in four days that's that's the goal so it is this author spotlight as well and hopefully by the end of it I'll absolutely love Emily Henry like everybody else does in the book community so this one in particular has been heavily heavily recommended to me by my lovely friend Rebecca she read it as an ARC copy on NetGalley a couple of weeks ago and she has just not not stop talking about it and not stop raving about it and she does think that I'm going to absolutely love it so very very excited to have this in hands I just have to go to the library um tomorrow which I'll take you with me um and collect beach read and you and me on vacation because I well to be honest with you if they don't come into the library tomorrow I have Beach Read on my Kindle as a 99p deal that I bought and you and me on vacation I have as a net galley arc from like ages ago because obviously it's been released for a long time now but if all else fails I'll read those on my Kindle and then I have the physical for book lovers but I do prefer to read physically so we'll see what happens. I'm constantly stalking my library app here to see if they uh, the copies have come in because they're in transit so we'll see. So I guess yeah on that note that's pretty much happening uh, in the next four days. Hopefully you will enjoy this vlog and yeah, I'll try and keep it as fun and entertaining and I'll pop some B-roll of Novak in as well. He's doing his absolute best self. He got the all clear on Monday from the vets, so everything's good from his surgery. But yeah, I've been talking for four and a half minutes. I need to go now. I have to go back to work. So I'll check in with you whenever I have something to update you on. Okay, friends, so it's lunchtime now and I'm going to start with beach read on my kindle um this was an absolutely beautiful book pouch that my lovely friend 
Rosie gave me the last time I seen her and I keep my Kindle in it. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's get this turned on and see what we're working with. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can find it now. I think it's in my books. So what am I looking for? Beach read. There we go. There it is. Can you see it? Let's go in. Yay. So I'm just going to take my hour break now for lunch. And I'm going to read some of this wonderful book. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. If I can get it to load. Will it load? Yay. There we go. Okay, so I said earlier I was stalking my library app, Beach Read, and you and me on vacation have just come in. So it looks like we're taking a trip to the library tomorrow. Oh, I'm so pleased. So, so pleased. Okay, friends, so that's me just finished work and just in from walking Novak, who's just being a nosy bum here after his dinner, wanting to know what I'm doing. So I'm just sitting on the sofa now. I did a wee bit of an hour, like a speed clean around the house, so I'm really happy. Um, and I'm just sitting now with my Kindle. So I just wanted to give you a quick reading update. I did do a good bit of reading um, on my lunch break. So I'm currently on around about 27% of Beach Read now. And yeah, it's it's actually, it's it's easy reading, if that makes sense. Um, so we're following our main character, um, January, who is a writer. And she's basically um, gone out to her father's holiday vacation home um, to clear it out and get everything sorted for selling it on because her dad has died um, and she's out there and she's trying to basically she's going to stay for the summer and she's going to try and write a book that she's obviously she has to write for her publishers and they're sort of on her back like 24 7 where is this she's only a few months to do it and then um, she notices that she has a next door neighbour when she moves in and it uh, she calls him Mr. Grumpy until they meet in the bookstore down the road in the town. And it turns out to be her sort of nemesis um, from college years, from university years. And they didn't like each other and they were always competing against each other for who was the best writer and, and all that good stuff. So he is called Augustus, I think his name is, is Gus um, for short. And he is also writing um, next door in his holiday home. So for now, they've only met each other in the bookstore and then... Um, she's attended, January's attended a book club and Augustus has turned up there as well. So that's only, that's all I've read so far of it. 27% isn't too bad. Very, very quick reading. Um, you know, you can tell it's going to be a hate to love and, you know, they're not the worst things in the world. They're not my favourite, but I'm going to give this one a go because I do want to see what I think of Emily Henry's writing. So yeah, it's all good. Um, I'll probably get down to the library tomorrow to collect uh, Beach Read if I need to finish it. I'm going to try and finish it this evening, to be honest with you. Um, Aaron's gone into Belfast just to get a few birthday bits and bobs for me, just to finish me off um, for the weekend. So he'll not be back for a while. We'll get about to eat. So I'm going to read um, while the Djokovic, Novak Djokovic match is on, the tennis match. I'm going to read for a bit until Aaron gets home. And then, yeah, we will take a trip to the library tomorrow and collect you and me on, on vacation I'm very very excited and then I can get to reading that over the weekend and then obviously book lovers but that's for another day we'll talk about that another time so for now I am just going to chill out the sofa and I am going to read a bit maybe for an hour get a quick shower and then come back down and read again so any sort of bits that I get to that I want to talk to you about or any updates I want to give you I will come back and check back in okay friends so I've just retired up to bed um it's been a good wee night actually um I've been sitting watching the tennis and then the football but I've been reading while I've been um sort of watching it it's been on in the background so I'm currently on let me see I'm on 55% of beach read and friends, this is really good. I'm really, really enjoying this. Um, I'm really surprised at how much I am actually enjoying it because A, Emily Henry's a debut author for me. I've never read anything from Emily Henry before, even though I know that she's really, really highly endorsed in the book community. 
and B, romance isn't my sort of genre of choice so I'm always quite um, cautious when I'm going into romance but this one's really really good I'm really enjoying it so we've got two obviously there's no spoilers in this vlog but um, I'm sort of just over halfway through and um, the bet has taken place between the two writers um, January and Augustus so obviously in the synopsis it tells you that um, the two book the, the two um, book writers you know authors are um, holiday and next door to each other and one writes literary fiction I think it is and one writes romance so January writes romance and Augustus write, writes literary fiction so they decided to change um, and write the genre of each other so they swapped um, genres basically and I just wanted to um, go over I came back to 25% in a quarter of the way in and this is the bet so where are we the loser will promote the winner's book book, write an endorsement for the cover, recommend it in interviews, choose it when guests judging for book clubs and all that guaranteeing sales and thirdly if you win you'll be able to rub it in my face forever which I suspect you consider nearly priceless. So yeah pretty much it's just I love the way um the chapters are short and snappy and the chapters aren't like one two three four five they're titled um so one of the titles was the bet um which is the bet of them swapping genres um let me get another one here the book club where they went to the guy who owned the uh, the bookshops book club um and the they met each other again um the ride which was in the uber um when they got chatting to each other um the house which was chapter one which is the house that her dad owned which she's now going to write a book in for summer and then try to clear out and sell so it's really really good it's just it's just uh it's do you know what it makes a nice change of pace from a, a heavy thriller or a suspense thriller which I absolutely love I will never say I don't love and I will never ever cheat on my beloved thrillers but sometimes it's nice to read something that you don't really need to think about and you don't really need to be like oh hold on did she say that and what about her is she an unreliable narrator it's just nice to be able to just read a romance and laugh and enjoy the banter between the two so yeah I'm really really enjoying it Um, it's around about I think it's it's about maybe 10 o'clock now um, on Thursday evening so obviously it's the same day so I am going to probably put a forest on for an hour now and um, I'm getting tired I'm off tomorrow I'm off now to Tuesday because it's obviously my birthday on Saturday so yeah tomorrow's an action-packed day as well but I think I'll sit for an hour, an hour and a half see how far even if I could get to maybe 75-80% of this this evening and then when I wake up in the morning with my breakfast I could probably finish it and then we'll go to the library get you you and me on vacation and then we can get that started tomorrow evening so that'll be fun with not so yeah i'm really having a great old time here i'm having so much fun with this book and emily henry is yeah really really enjoying her work so i shall chat to you probably in the morning um so if i don't see you good night god bless and yeah i'll speak to you in the morning today i am mostly stalking the royal mailman because my birthday presents are coming from Arne today. So, excited much? How's it going? Okay, so it's Saturday afternoon now and I have just finished work for the day. I've just logged off and I make myself a cup of tea. Aaron's on his way home from work so I need to make him his lunch. But I am going to go over to my mum's today and see the fam bam and get some presents and some pavlova and cake and tea and it's just going to be amazing. And then tonight Aaron's getting me a takeout. We're going to have a movie night and that's going to be so much fun. I cannot get focused because there's too much in behind me here. So yes, it's Saturday and I haven't read any more Beach Read from last night so I am going to sit down now um, after I've made Aaron's lunch and try and read an hour or so before I break to my mum's. So I'll catch up with you later on. I'll pop some B-roll of my birthday cake and all that good stuff and I'll chat to you later.
Hey guys, so yes, it's me again. It's finally Saturday. Sorry, the last lot of clips, literally. I kept saying it's Saturday, it was only Friday. Um, I'm wearing my Chucky t-shirt again from Aaron because why not? Um, I only wore it for part of the day yesterday, so I'm, I'm not that dirty. Um, yes, so it is Saturday morning. I am just getting myself organized. It's my birthday today. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to film my unboxing of these lovely gifts from you guys and I'm going to then come in and talk to you about all of the lovely pre-orders and um, Bert's books box books that I got and all of the publisher mail and all that good stuff but good news I finished Beach Read last night and it was absolutely wonderful it was just wonderful Um, I really really enjoyed it the banter and the the hilarity and the fun between the two main characters, January and Gus, were just fantastic. I love Gus by the end, he was amazing. I um, really, really enjoyed his sort of part in the book. And I think what I enjoyed the most about it was probably that the Enemies to Lovers wasn't done for far too long. You know, sometimes I go in, you know, it's not my favourite trope. Um, I'll shout that from the rooftops, I'll tell anybody that. Hating, hating, hate the love, um, enemies to lovers is not for me. But with this book, with Beach Reed and Emily Henry, it was only for probably about three or four chapters and honestly it was enough. So I'm really, really excited. I have finally finished that one. So I'm going to go out for the day with Miss Lucy and her mum and dad. We're going for lunch and then we're going to go to the park and then I'm going to call in the library and collect you and me on vacation. And then obviously, I have book lovers so I can read that as well so I have another couple of days yet on this weekend reading vlog definitely get the two finished and um, really enjoying this author spotlight so yes what I'll do is is the plan now um I was just coming in to give you that reading update quickly I'm going to film this unboxing and then I'm going to come back in and show you what mail I've, I've received in the last couple of days and then I'm going to wait for the day so yes I'll check in with you when I have finished my filming Okay hey guys, so it's later on on Saturday night. I'm just in from a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful birthday day with my niece Lucy and her mum and dad, who is obviously my brother and sister-in-law. We went to the works and we actually went to the garden centre and had a bite to eat and there's a works um, bookshop just off there. I only got one book, so I'm really, really, really pleased for myself. Um, I got The Good Girl Complex by Elle Kennedy. Um, <sighs> Why are you buying so much romance at the moment, Barb? Okay, so the only answer to that question is, is I'm sitting here legit hoping on the download that there's going to be a romance-a-thon drop of an announcement in the next, like, couple of days. Can't say a cup. Well, it might come next week. Jacqueline, I'm looking at you. But I'm not sure because I know she's had a lot going on personally recently, so it may not be happening. But I'm just stockpiling romance novels that I would particularly like to read so that if she does drop the romance thon announcement I am totally here for it and then also when I was out I received a massive big box of books so envelope books on Twitter had DM'd me during the week and said Barbara would you like to review a cut one one book for us um and tag us and do your review and, and just advertising and all that good stuff they sent me six so here I have Belle and Nash. This is my favourite cover of all time. Belle and Nash. Belle Nash and the Bath Souffle. Okay. We have got Spy Artist Prisoner. I mean, these covers obviously are of envelopes because they're envelope books. This one's really class as well. The Hopeful Traveller. Look at that. I mean, that's a book. Isn't that class looking? Uh, we also have Mustard Seed Itinerary. I mean, these are just ridiculously cool. We have got Why My My Wife Had to Die, which is quite interesting. I like the look of that one as well. And lastly, we have A Sin of Omission, which is here. So yes, Envelope Books said, can we buy, or can we send you one book? And they sent me six. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I will put these in a reading vlog or maybe read them over the course of a month or I just have no idea. I absolutely love the cover of that one. I might might read it first actually. But they're quite good books uh, maybe to um, annotate. Uh, they're nice floppy paperbacks. So we'll see how we go but I do think I'll read these and probably pass them on to friends afterwards. 
but yes that's the um shopping and what i've been doing for my birthday updates although um, i'm going to see dr strange this evening in the cinema farm so i'm really, really excited and um, we're going in about an hour so i need to go and get myself ready but reading update i haven't read anything obviously i was filming this morning i was out there in this afternoon but when i get back from the pictures the cinema it should be around about maybe nine nine half nine i'll get about the eight i am going to start into people we meet on vacation which i have on my kindle because i didn't get a chance to get to the library today so i don't have the physical copy but i would like to at least get about maybe a quarter of the way through that one um before i go to bed tonight i've no plans tomorrow i'm going to go to the gym in the morning um have a bite deep with Arn, do a wee bit of meal prep but i've no other plans tomorrow other than that so um i'll hopefully finish that tomorrow and then book lovers for monday so we'll see how we go but yeah i don't think i have anything else to tell you that was quite a big update for this vlog but you know lots has happened it's my birthday it's still my birthday i'm still 39 <laughs> well obviously i'm gonna be 39 for the next year but do you know what i'm gonna do actually i am going to sit and make a list of everything i would like to achieve um this year between 39 and 40 because obviously I'll be starting a new decade and I'm going to have to have a 40 upwards bucket list Um, I haven't started that yet maybe I should start that as well my sister got me an absolutely beautiful thick journal for my birthday um, and some stationery to go along with it so I'm thinking um, every single day of just sort of writing a line of something that was positive that day and then writing a bit about my actual day and just documenting um the next year in my life to see you know if there's any ups and downs any anything like that so i'll probably start doing that um today because it is my birthday so i'd like to do the full year until next 14 may but yeah i'm rambling on i haven't really got much reading done today well i've not i've no reading done today but you know it's okay you get a bible to your birthday so yeah oh and i'm also on 845 subs on youtube on my channel so if i could get to 8, 850 by the end of this vlog i would be so so happy um but yeah it's all just today's just been such a great day it's just such a great day i'm just loving it and yeah totally here for great days later I mean <sighs> they've been showing up on camera how bad it is look at that oh my god look can you see it <gasps> actually no need for this like seriously Hey guys, okay, so here's Novak. It is Monday morning. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. Um, I was watching the Novak Djokovic match and then sat and watched a couple of Marvel films after my trip to the cinema to see Doctor Strange. It's got me back into the Marvel sort of um, watching phase. So I have gone back to the very start and I'm watching everything in Chronicle, Chronicle, Chrono oh my God, chronological order yes barbara if you can speak today so yes i am off today it is monday i have a hospital visit at two o'clock so um it's around about half nine now and um i'm just about to nip out to the library quickly to collect people we meet on vacation because obviously i have finished beach read now and that is the next on the agenda so i just wanted to nip in i've nothing really to update you on reading wise as i say i took yesterday off from the vlog and just chilled out and watched the tennis and enjoyed myself for the end of the weekend basically my birthday weekend so i'm running this vlog into today maybe tomorrow depending on how long it takes me to read this next book from this author spotlight um you and me on vacation so i will yeah i will probably check back in with you when i'm back from the hospital and obviously i will have also visited the the library to collect my books as well a couple of holds to collect too so i'll show you those later on but yeah just wanted to come and let you know what the score was on this vlog and yes i'm still here and i'm still reading and it is still an author spotlight
Okay, so it's a little bit later. There's lots of green in this photo. <laughs> I'm wearing green and the walls are green. So hey, that's me just back to the house. It's probably around about, I think it's around about quarter past three. Um, my mum's just dropped me off. Um, I am finished with the hospital. I had a few breathing tests to get done and some bloods. Um, hopefully the consultant will put me on new inhalers because the inhalers that I was originally taking so long story short, basically I take normal inhalers for my asthma and my COPD, which really work well. But over the last couple of months, I was noticing that I was getting out of breath whenever I was walking Novak. And I'm sure you can imagine that at 30 or 39, you shouldn't be getting out of breath whenever you're out on a half hour walk with your dog. So I contacted my consultant and he put me on like a, a monthly, it's like, a, it was just for a month, it was a steroid inhaler and just to help me get my breathing back to normal again so to go back onto my normal inhalers but unfortunately the steroid inhaler was absolutely amazing it worked really really well it did really really help but the exhaustion was ridiculous i was exhausted i wasn't feeling myself i was taking dizzy spells and it just wasn't helping so the hospital asked me to come back and just do another round of breathing tests and bloods today just to see if there's anything other than the, inhale, the original inhalers I normally take, is there anything stronger that I could take? Or, yeah, just basically trying to find out uh, what treatment should help. Because I'm back to the gym and, you know, I don't want to be out of breath. I don't want to be panicking about having an asthma attack. I don't want to be, you know, just worried at all. Um, as I say, I'm, I'm not even 40 yet and I shouldn't really be out of breath when I'm walking Novak because I walk them three times a day. So, you know. But... I digress. I did call into the library. Mum took me to the library and I got you and me on vacation by Emily Henry. So I have no plans the rest of the day. Well, no plans until Aaron gets back from work because we're going to go and do some adulting. We're going to do the food shop. Does anybody want to go for me? I don't want to go. Aaron absolutely loves food shopping. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. I don't hate it when we get home and we've lovely food in the fridge and we have nice things to eat, but I hate actually going and buy it at all <laughs> so yes couple hours to kill now i'm gonna get stuck into this um not really sure what this one's about actually um i had come across beach read and then obviously the new release book lovers i knew quite a bit about those because the hype and everything but i didn't really hear too much about this when it was released 12 summers ago poppy and alex meet they hate each other and are pretty confident they'll never speak again 11 summers ago, they're forced to share a ride home from college and by the end of it, a pact is formed every year, one vacation together. Okay, I do remember what this one's about. 10 summers ago, Alex discovers his fear of flying. Poppy holds his hand the whole way. Yep, that shit's real. Um, seven summers ago, they get far too drunk and narrowly avoid getting matching tattoos in New Orleans. And two summers ago, it all goes wrong. This summer, Poppy asks Alex to join her on one last trip. Could this trip make them realise they're not just friends after all? So it sounds as if it's Emily Henry at her best. Basically, enemies to lovers, hate to love. That seems to be the trope that she goes for. Not my favourite trope, but this author does write it in a way that I just really, really enjoy it. So it is a chunker of a book. It is 361 pages. I am going to try and get 100, 150 pages into it now before Aaron gets home from work. And then we'll go and do the food shop and I'll probably sit in the forest later on with Shell and Rebecca and try and get another chunk of this done. But we'll see how it go. Obviously this is ran over the weekend reading vlog, but look, you know, it's fine. My channel, my rules, it's all good. Um, if I run a, run a reading vlog for longer than it's supposed to go, then, you know, that's, you know, you're still getting the content. It's fine. So I have made myself a lovely cup of tea and I thought this mug would be apt because it's got love hearts on it and I am reading lots of romance in this vlog. So yes, I will sit down now, do a bit of reading and I will come back to you when we're back from doing the food shop. Okay, friends, so... I have to <laughs> let you in on a secret. It is currently quarter to 12 on Monday evening. I'm working tomorrow and need to go to bed, but I haven't been the best of vlogging today. I last spoke to you when I got back from the hospital and how I had collected you and me on vacation from the library. And I did indeed sit for a couple of hours and read that one. And then I went food shopping and then I've come home, had dinner and literally read for the last, I'd say, three and a half, nearly four hours. Guys, I finished you and me on vacation. And 
yeah I flew through this absolutely flew through it I literally forgot to pick up the camera I just literally I read for two and a half hours Aaron came home from um, work we didn't go out to the shops until about six half six and then we went and did that had a bite to eat and I have literally been reading the rest of the night and oh my god this was amazing I'm going to give this one four and a half stars I gave Beach Read four and a half stars and I cannot wait to read Book Lovers in my new releases vlog because I just have such a good feeling for that one this was brilliant the banter again between the two main characters was just ridiculous the backstories and the sort of stories that were going on as I say in the background between the two were really really well written Emily Henry has literally just a way of writing sunshine in a book it's like a hug in a book it was brilliant this would absolutely be fantastic obviously as a summer read I would really recommend this for a summer read but yeah I just oh, I, I don't know what else to say if you've read it you'll understand it's amazing it's such a good rom-com and as I said my least favourite trope in a romance is hate to love and enemies to lovers and this did start out in that manner and it did not annoy me in the slightest it did not annoy me at all and I feel like Emily Henry like in Beach Read has a way of just writing not too much of the story is based upon the enemy or the dislike part it's literally just there for you to know that it's happening and then she moves on and she writes about then you know the lovers part and it's just oh, I can't wait to read book lovers and I can't believe there's only three books Emily Henry has written but this author spotlight has been so so much fun it's quarter to 12 on Monday evening I had to finish this guys I literally had to finish it I can't believe I have finished a book in one sitting well I know it's over one like two sittings but you know what I'm saying like literally I didn't want to put this down and Aaron wanted to watch a film in all the night and I was like no it's not happening so yes another book down for Emily Henry as I say Book Lovers is her brand new release I am going to be reading that in an up and coming new releases vlog with two other books which I'm very excited about um, I'm going to be starting into that right now well not right now tomorrow probably I'm going to be starting that vlog right away because um, I want to get that up on my channel for the weekend but yeah, hopefully you've had fun. Um, this weekend reading vlog was for my birthday initially with the author spotlight sprinkled in. Um, but it ran on just a day late. But it's only a day, it's fine. Um, I just, I am so sorry I haven't vlogged too much when I was reading this one. But it was just absolutely fantastic. And yeah, if you've read either of these books, um, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of them. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? What do you think of Emily Henry? Would she be an autobi author for you? Are you not fussed on her books? What books have you read um, so far? Also, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Always helps my channel. And if you're not subscribed and want to stick around for more bookish content and author spotlights in the months to come, I have a lot of really good ones planned. Really excited for then yeah please hit that subscribe button i am nearly at 1k it is very very exciting i've just hit my watch hours so very very exciting indeed but yeah i think that's it for now two four and a half stars two books by emily henry i call that a success and yeah i will see you in the very next video